Yo, what's going on guys? Sujib here with an episode of Online Versus Q&A. Uh, I have yet to play Online Versus and with the current EA Sports roster, so I get to taste the shitty freaking Rangers in this game. God, they suck in this game, man. What the? Oh, shit. All right. Uh, oh, God. Man, they suck. Holy. Alright, I got. I was like, let me. Before I start answering, some son of a bitch! Fuck! God, fuck! Thank you. Um, I. am not used to online versus. To say the least. Uh, have yet to play it. And this is gonna be my sorry ass attempt. Fuck you, Mikhail Grigorenko. Yeah. Uh, n I used to be a big, uh,. Uh, online versus guy, but then again, uh, that was when NHL online versus was good. This is shit. I don't like the way this game plays. I don't enjoy it. Uh, when you play full team, I enjoy be a pro and uh, ESHL where you control one player. You don't got to deal with the entire team. I hate hockey ultimate team. I refuse to play it, and so on. Ah, let me get that poke going. All right, I love it when that happens. Oh, there we go. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> that did not work. So, uh, yeah. Thought this would be a good idea for a video. A uh, couple things with the Rangers today. Uh, Mika Zibanejad eight, out six to eight weeks with a broken fibula. Go figure. Um, oh, one second. Hold up. There it is. Psych. Uh, yeah. Freaking Zibanejad, our second line slash first line center, is out for an extended period of time. Uh, that will not be discussed on this channel unless you want to hear me break down and crying. What the f- THAT TRUMP Um, you will not be hearing me talk about this on that channel. Uh, because that would just bring me to tears. I do not like talking about sad things. Like, Rangers getting hurt. Uh, un well, you know what? In other news, uh, the Rangers have... Picked up left wing Matt Pumpel off waivers from... Ottawa. Now, Pupil was at one point a top prospect for Ottawa, and he never found his way in the league because Ottawa's forward depth has just kind of outmatched him. Because a guy like Pupil does not belong on the fourth line. He doesn't fit a fourth line role. He is a third liner because he scores, he's quick, and he's not physical. What the fuck was that? And he is not physical at all. From what I've gathered. So you can't put him on the fourth line. That's all the room they had for him. So he's been a career minor league scorer. Uh, he's 23. He's six foot one. I think 210 pounds. So he is a relatively. What the fuck is going on with these penalties already? I hate this game. Fuck this game. Ah! Um. <laughs> so people really hasn't gotten a good sit in the NHL. I think the Rangers can offer him that. Uh, I'm gonna throw my remote and break my GD TV in a second. I hate this. Game. The face-offs piss me off, so I fucking hate this god dang- ah, ah, Yes! Screw you! Ha ha! Loser! Um, I think Pupil will be a decent fit until, uh, at least Zabanajad comes back because, you know, that's just the way these things, boom, work. Because he'll find his way back into the minors, but I believe he's wa- Oh, I believe he's waiver ex exempt now, right? Because the Rangers claimed him, and I think that- it's good to have a guy like Pimple, because now the Rangers are even younger. Ho, ho, backhand, ho, because now the Rangers are younger. He, uh, they're a little bit quicker, and he's on a two-way contract, so send him to the minors if you don't want him. Jesus, I'm getting so angry. Uh, he might play tonight in Pittsburgh, although I doubt it. Vigneault made it quite clear that he's set with the roster he has, which is retarded, by the way. I don't understand why. He does nothing but complain about Lindbergh and says, yeah, we're going to play him over some kid that we just got. Screw you. Oh, VC. Uh, oh. Run them like run them, run them. Whoop. Did not work. All right. Uh, yeah, so I don't understand AV's double standard right there, but, you know, he's got it, so it is what it is. What the? Why is Grabner our center? Anyways, uh, it just pisses me off that freaking, uh, missing out on, uh, oh, oh, shit. It's a bad jab because I knew something like this was going to happen. Someone was going to get hurt soon. The Rangers, they play too fast pace of a game for someone not to get hurt. And besides, you know, I'm a Rangers fan and bad luck has to factor in eventually. Oh, boy, oh, boy. But, tis a silver lining. 
What is that you say? Well, one, the Rangers might make a trade. Two, guys are going to be fighting for that spot, and they may just earn it. Boom! Oh, shit. Uh, oh, that's a trip. Uh, they may just earn it. And we're going to see players like maybe Chris Evall and Nieves and perhaps people. But we do, I do believe we need a center. I, I, I prefer Peary on the wing than center. But then again, you know, I'm not the coach. Although I should be. Uh, in other news, the Rangers play Pittsburgh tonight. What's interesting about Pittsburgh? Hornquist and Kunitz are out. Is that equivalent to Puknevich and Zibanejad? Hell no. Um, but it's better than nothing, I suppose, because at least it's, you know, somewhat even. You know, we're missing whole two of our top guys. And bang! Uh, they're missing, I guess, two of their top guys if you consider Kunitz a top guy anymore, although I don't. Oh, boom! Ho! Hey-o! Alright, let's, let's get this show on the road. Weird cock. Ho! What the fart was that? Book, book, step up. Hit him! Oh, Nady Mac, you're not going. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to stick with him. Boom. Okay, nope. Not happening. Damn it. Uh, yeah, Book Nevich, uh, I don't know when the hell he's going to come back. He missed four straight games again with these damn back spasms. What the fuck was that? God, I hate this game so much. I hate it. Um, yeah, he's he's still out. Ah, the Rangers, man. Things were looking so good. Now they lose two games in a row. They suck in a freaking shootout. Always have too. It wasn't that good of a goal, buddy. Just fucking click skip. You, why are you so impressed with yourself? Just click the skip button. People, don't be that person. Just don't skip the goddamn goal. Nobody cares. Uh, unless it's unless it's replay worthy, just just leave it alone. Nobody gives a crap. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Nice. Yes. Yay. Love not scoring on breakaways. Love it. Love it. Oh, Book. Why is Book Nevich on the fourth freaking line? I don't think. Why is Book Nevich and VC like both freaking 79 overall? Oh! Bang! But you know what? I'm not a jerk. So you know what I'm going to do? Hear that? Clicking A. Because I'm not a little B boy. Book! Yeah, Book Nevich is a 78 and freaking VC is a 79. Unacceptable! Nash still in 86? Unacceptable! I'll be the first person to tell you that Nash isn't as good as he used to be, but 86? That's horrible. Chris Kreider, 87 speed, 89 acceleration. Do you not watch the guy play? For Christ's sake? My view, oh, like, really? Like, that's that's awful. Like, ah, oh, God. But yet, freaking Tanner Glass is like 85 freaking speed. Like, get the hell out of here. Dude. Whoever does the EA Sports rating needs to get his head checked, because that is the worst, the worst assessment of Chris Kreider's speed that you could even imagine. Even close... 87. Really? This man was faster than Carl Hagelin, who won the fastest skater competition not too long ago, smartass. Who the hell does this? God dang it. Jesus Christ. Ooh! Bang! Um, yeah. Dan Girardi, 86 overall going into this season. Are you freaking nuts? He's not that good. Or he wasn't a finish last season. Why the hell is he 86 overall? Mark stole 87 for like the third straight year. He sucked last year. Why is he 87 overall? I just, I don't get it. Whoever makes these ratings needs to have his head checked. I, I just, I, it's astonishing. A, an, another thing. like How is Brandon Peary, uh, I mean last year, fine. Granted, he didn't do great last year. How is he 81 overall? Can somebody explain that to me? I, I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But, I feel like it's a bit of an underrating. Maybe 82, 83. That seems fair. Uh, Lee Stepniak, what is it got? 83, 84 overall? Not too long ago, like a season separated from 50-something freaking points. Again, tell me that's 83 overall now? Because he doesn't have a big name? Get the hell out of here. Ah! Well, it's Radulov, what is he, 84? You kidding me? Subban was like a 91. It's just... Ah, the, the ratings tick me off. Bang! Uh, yeah, I like to rant about this game. I love ranting about these NHL games because they tick me off so freaking much. They get one thing right and one thing only right. 
Well, actually, two. The format of their GM modes, which is always good. I, I can never complain about the GM modes. There's only a few things that piss me off. Uh, and their your single control, like, like when you position lock or you fuck or you play be a pro or EASHL. They always get that perfect on the nose. Team play just doesn't work in this game. It doesn't work. Give it up. Change the system. Scrap it. Okay? Controlling five players at once doesn't work anymore. You gotta change the system, people. It sucks. The deking, the skating, the everything. It drives me crazy. You see what the Rangers do to me? How angry they make me! That I'm ranting! Um, this isn't even really that big of a QA, and a is it? I'm just kind of ripping EA Sports. You know. Which isn't, you know... Listen, I'm not going to knock EA Sports and say they're an awful gaming company. Because they're not. They just make blatant errors that are just like... Ah, it, it, it ticks you off because they, they really do. They make a good game. They just... They screw up the small details so freaking much. I mean, for Christ's sake. Have somebody like... Uh, that actually connected with the NHL do the player ratings. Because I cannot take another year of crappy ratings. I just can't. It's so freaking bad. Every freaking year it gets worse too. Ay, ay, ay. It's just so freaking bad. Oh, my God. And I digress, too. Hey, one more. Actually, I don't digress. Jason Pollenville, 86 overall. You're telling me he's on the same level as Rick Nash. Hmm? You're going to tell me that's the case? Really? Really? Jason Pollenville and Rick Nash are equal. Are you freaking nuts? Are you nuts? Even at his height, Jason Pollenville was never even close to Rick Nash. At his height. Not even close. Completely irrelevant. Not even in the same conversation as Rick Nash. Not even close. You're going to tell me now that he's equivalent to him? Are you serious? The guy's playing hurt. He played hurt last year. Suffered concussions for a long time. And you're going to tell me that Pominville's better than him? Are you serious? Also, another thing that grinds my gears... And this is this one this one this one gets me. This one definitely gets me. Definitely does. Not not gonna lie, it takes me off just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Matt Cullen. I hate him to death. Hate him. He was in 81 this year. Dude had how many points last year? And was basically a humongous part of a Stanley Cup winning team. He was what, an 81? Are you see I hate the guy. I freaking hate the guy. I hate playing against him. I think he's a piece of crap. And I'm telling you right now, 81 overall is disgustingly low. Just disgustingly low. Unnecessarily low. How? They did this to Dominic Moore at some points too. He was incredibly low. Braden Coburn, 85 overall. I think 84 was fair. I thought that was fair. Semyon Varlamov, why is he 89 over? Why is every goal in this game like incredibly overrated, I feel like? 89 overall for Varlamov. Last I checked, this guy isn't worth jack shit anymore because he sucks. Same thing with Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky's not 90 overall anymore, people. We got to get over that. That that was that was a, a while ago now. Okay? It, we got to get past that. I'm not saying Lundqvist is a 92 anymore, but like, guys, come on. Really? Halak was like an 87? Really? You watched the guy play? I think Rice is much better than Halak. Really? Oh, God. I could do this for, oh, thank you. That, see, that was a bad goal, but still. I, it's, ah, the, the ratings, they irk me so much. Oh, God. Anyway, let's get to the Q&A part of things, because I'll, I'll be on this for like three more hours. Uh, the question I get asked the most. See, Jets, why are you out of your God mind? Why do you scream? Why do you make voices? Why do you say stupid things? Well... You answered my question. Well, you answered your own question. Why? It has you thinking about it, right? You just asked me about it. What does it do? It, it keeps you coming back. It makes you curious. I'm not like, I don't take things serious. Well, you know, I take something seriously, but I'm not like, not in a childish way, in like more like a let's have fun way. I'm not taking this freaking, uh, this this game right here super seriously. Hell, I might have screamed and cursed a couple times, but it was all for the, really? The legs are coming now? But it's all for the, you know, the entertainment part of the video. Listen. Go around all of YouTube, all of the NHL gaming community on YouTube right now. Look at everybody. Tell me right now, anybody that acts the way I do, 
Just just find one. Someone that screams at nonsense, does stupid things, tries to make you laugh, makes fun of himself, and isn't a complete asshole and a know-it-all, uh, you know, during the whole thing. Uh, can somebody find me that, that person? I'd like to think that I'm a bit of an innovator in this, in this uh, part here. Because, you know, people, unlike myself tend to get very embarrassed in public and are scared of people's opinion of them on the internet. Quite frankly, I don't give a damn. If you think I'm crazy, if you think there's something wrong with me, then you're doing, you're, I mean, that's the assessment that I want. I want you to think I'm crazy. I want all these things. Oh, that was an awful goal. Um, I want you to think these things because it's going to keep you coming back. When I watch YouTubers, I tend, I'm a fast forward freak. Um, not that I have a short attention span, but like, it's just like, uh, I, I get bored of just BS talking, no fun. It's, oh, yeah, so uh, uh, we're going to make this trade here. And um, then we're going to do this. And we're going to simulate some. I get so freaking bored. I inspired myself to do this. I get so bored. I keep you on the edge of your seat. You're like, what the hell is this nut job going to say next? And you watch the whole video. Now, this is just my assessment. I'm sure plenty of people skip through them. But I'm just saying, there is a majority of people, and I can tell from, you know, YouTube analytics, you know, they give us that little, bitch. They give us that little thing, like, oh, how, how many people watch full videos and all that good stuff. And I have a tendency to have a very high viewing rate where people watch my entire videos because I'm freaking nuts. You don't know what I'm going to say next, and that keeps you interested. Uh, for example, uh, episode 18 of my Rangers franchise mode, when we got eliminated by the Penguins, I believe, in the playoffs. Um, yeah, that was probably, oh, bang, that, that was sick. That was probably the craziest episode I ever recorded, okay? Just completely nuts, irritating, but it got good feedback because I was fucking crazy. It keeps you coming, and hell, it keeps me entertained, too. I'm not gonna lie, I don't enjoy listening to myself speak like a normal person. Don't enjoy it, not a bit. I get annoyed at my voice and hear myself talk like this, giving you statistics and trying to sound accurate about everything. I would freaking drive myself nuts and have to apologize after every video ended. It's not entertaining. I, I don't know. Like, there are videos like my 30 for 30, my, um, um, <clears throat> my uh, expansion draft team where I took seriously and I talked hockey with you guys and I took it seriously. Videos like franchise, be a pro, and these stupid things like this, I'm going to go freaking nuts and I'm going to have fun with it because it's going to keep you coming back and it's going to help me draw a bigger audience, which ultimately is what I want. It was what anybody would want because it's what's going to keep me going. Um, I do have a job. I do go to school. Oh, that was nice. I do do a lot of these things. I coach a team coach a couple actually and I you know this unfortunately isn't a full-time thing for me and I would like it to be one day because I enjoy it the only way to get that is to be a little bit different okay and I'm gonna go with the same thing with the NHL community or NHL gaming community it's all the same the same boring commentaries over the same boring teams with the same boring trades who the hell in in on YouTube went ahead and signed Connor McDavid in free agency to a retarded contract, gave up all that stuff just for Conor McDavid. Who the hell signed Paul Stastny in the middle of January in free agency just to make his team his third line equivalent to a first line? Who the hell leaves injuries on for an entire season and doesn't blow his own brains out? Who does that? Tell you who? Moi. Now, I'm not saying people don't play with injuries. There are plenty of YouTubers that play with injuries out there. I know that for a fact. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give any name examples. I don't want to be that guy. Um, yeah, there are people that do that, but like signing Connor McDavid, who the hell would even go for Connor McDavid? They'll pull the, oh, it's unrealistic card. The, the realism card does not apply to me. I don't use the realism card. I'm doing it for entertainment purposes. If you guys want a serious GM mode, I will do that, but I will make it a separate series because if I'm not having fun with it, I, I just can't do it. I refuse to ever, and I, I'm telling, I told myself this day one, I refuse to ever, ever upload a video I thought wasn't good enough for YouTube. If I thought it wasn't entertaining, I thought it was boring, bleak, bland, whatever the hell you want to call it, I refuse to upload it. If it makes me want to rip off my own ears and put them in a shredder, I would not upload it to YouTube. If I thought there was minimal effort put into it, it was not, it had no utility to anybody, I would not upload it. 
my videos need to have a certain level of content that I feel comfortable uploading because I don't want to give you guys crap. Listen, I say I upload every single day. If I couldn't make a video that day that I thought was worth uploading and it was kind of half-assed, not really worked on, tell you what, I'm not uploading that day because that's just the way just the way I do things. I'm not just going to give you guys a video just to give you one. I'm not like that. If it's not entertaining, it's not going up. I listen, I care about you guys more than anything because you're my you're my fan base. And I want to give you what you want and what you deserve. So I'm going to give you a psychopathic lunatic that screams, yells, curses, says dumb things and uses crazy voices and accents because that's different. You don't really get that a lot. People are too embarrassed to do it. I'm like that in public too. Ask anybody I know. I'm freaking out of my mind. Is it a good thing? Probably not. But I like to think that I have some good friends out there and I have some pretty freaking awesome subscribers, all 42 strong. Another thing, we reached 8,000 plus views uh, yesterday, last night. Thank you so much for that. See, I appreciate the small things. 8,000 views, people get that in a, in a minute, some people, okay? Uh, the, 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 the Swedish guy, uh, or is he Swedish or like something like that? The, uh, he's got like 400 million, of something like, I don't think it's 400 million. That's actually a little, uh, exaggerated. Um, uh, PewDiePie. Yeah, PewDiePie. Guy's like 7,000 views a second. All right. I got that over the span of like over a year now. And I'm excited about that. I enjoy the small things and I'll constantly thank you guys for those. Quite frankly, I don't think he gives a shit about 8,000 views in a second. He gets about 8 million in two minutes. That's, you know, that's probably what he gets. I'd imagine. Probably a wealthy man. Um, yeah, I, I want to care about these small things. I want, you know, I can go on and on about this, people. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and feed you a spoonful of lies. I'm telling you the truth. I, say, <sighs> if I feel it's not fit for you, it's not going up there. And I need to thank you guys for everything because without you, none of this is possible. Think about it. If I didn't have a single subscriber, why would I upload? I have fans. I have viewers. I have all these things. So I'm going to continue to thank, th thank you for these things. And you're going to like it! See? Sub super like that. Who else is going to make that crazy ass voice and yell? I have a family downstairs probably like, what the hell is my son doing? He's a failure. And I'm like, yes, dad. You're damn right he is. But he's a good failure. <sighs> if you're going to be good at, if you're going uh, to be good at something, be great at it. Bang! 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 Oh, uh, na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. I guess not. Uh, yeah. Don't be good at something. Be great at it! So, that answers my why the fuck am I out of my damn mind. Next! Who am I? I'm CJS. I'm Nick. My first name is Nick. That's as far as I'll go. Bang! That's as far as I'll go. I will not go any further than my name is Nick. I'm not going to specify anything else right now. Uh, face reveal, not happening uh, for a while. Uh, I'm not going to show my face on the internet. Not yet, at least. Uh, actually, if you go and watch my knee hockey montages, I'm sure you can see my face. But otherwise, I'm not really just a mm, little much right now, but eventually I will. Uh, you don't want to see this hot, beautiful face. You don't trust me. Um, what else? What else? Where do I live? New York. It's about as uh, New York. It's about as uh, specific as I'll get. Here's a hint. It's fucking 30-something degrees and windy as hell out. There's your hint as to my area. Fucking freezing! And there's snow all the time. We had snow last night. The hell? Hobbies and interests. Hockey, MMA, boom. Football, pff, sometimes. Watching it, maybe. Baseball, pff, when the Mets are good. Tennis, what the hell is tennis? Psych, don't watch tennis. Don't play it either. Badminton, pff, and gym. Wish I had a badminton net at home. Play that shit all the time. Uh, whatever. Who is stats? Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, that's really some other questions I could ask myself. Uh, family, yes, got that. Oh, he's had a hat trick, didn't even realize. Uh, sister, brother, father, mother, dog. Favorite holiday, Christmas. Eve. Or Christmas. I don't know, I like Christmas Eve because, yeah, I'm Italian, so there's a lot of fish and good food. And, uh, on Christmas Eve, there's a, there's, you know, I'm going to say Christmas Eve, my favorite holiday. Why? Here's why. One, the next day, there's another holiday. So you get to enjoy that day. Stuff your face with nice Italian fish. And you go to sleep. Well, you don't. I, I can't, I can't sleep on Christmas Eve. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. But you go to sleep and the next day you're like, boom, presents, bang. Or we you know what's left of them. I love Christmas Eve. So much family, so much food. 
happy. Uh, sometimes it's cold, but the house is warm. I love, love Christmas Eve. I like it more than Christmas. Christmas, the party's a little bit bigger, but there's nothing to look forward to the day before. And I feel like that entire day of Christmas is just kind of hoping like that day doesn't go by because you want to be with your family. You want to enjoy your family. That's the way I take it. Uh, I'm, I'm a very familial person. I love my family. I love being with my family. That's why I don't rush holidays. I don't really rush things. I don't, I don't like rushing to get to the next day. It, it really, it breaks my heart when the next day comes because you know, I don't like time moving fast. I like being young. I love my family. And yeah, I'm, I know for a fact I'm going to miss them one day. And that breaks my heart having to think about, you know, going away to college, all that stuff. But um, yeah, hands down, Christmas Eve, easily my favorite holiday. And I want you people, you know, all my Catholics out there, think about that. Christmas Eve, family, food, and there's something the day after. It's just the perfect medium. And there's always school the day before, which sucks, but it's just something, you know. I mean, this, this year we got a full week of school before Christmas. Blah! Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, favorite food? Don't have one. Kind of like everything. That's my sister screaming down there. Man, I love my family. Um, favorite sports teams? Mets, Rangers, Giants. Don't watch basketball. Don't ask me about it. May play it one day in uh in uh you know on the PlayStation or something. Just or the Xbox if it's for the Xbox. Don't even know. Just so I can give it to you guys, because I know a lot of people want to watch basketball, you know. Uh, favorite video games besides NHL? Uh, Call of Duty World at War, Assassin's Creed 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Hitman Absolution, Hitman 2016, uh, Civilization 5, not 6, haven't played it yet, don't really want to. Uh, I haven't played Minecraft in forever, not even going to say Minecraft. Um... What other games do I have? Mario Superstar Baseball, Madden 11, MLB 2K11, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, freaking love it. Can't go wrong with the uh, the classics. Oh, the new Lego Star Wars game, haven't played that yet, want to give that a shot. The old Grand Theft Auto, the new one, hopefully GTA 6 one day. Um, ah, Smackdown vs. Raw 2K9, haven't played that in probably since 2009. Um, I got my, all my games right here. Oh, Walking Dead Survival Instinct, kick ass. Love The Walking Dead, love it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, let the video play out here. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you everybody for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed watching. So, Lindor, making it. And if you have any more questions, ask me in the comments. So, I will see you on the next one.